Hey, what's up, YouTube fam? This is Living the Best Life with JT. Y'all, I just started my YouTube channel, and I'm coming back. Lord, fixing some food today. Uh, my food is going to be today Parmesan chicken with shrimp alfredo. So, y'all, I have already gone. I already got this stuff sorted out on the table here. I have my chicken that I've already pounded out. And I have my egg wash, which is egg and milk. And I also have my Italian bread comes with flour mix in it. And then here's all the season I'm going to be using, which is I'm going to be using Creole salt, Creole seasoning. I'm going to get, I'm going to use garlic powder. I'm going to be using seasoning salt. I'm going to be using accent and thyme and parsley I have already mixed up inside of the bread crumbs and the flour here. So it is three parts to this food that I'm going to be making today. But this is the first part, which is making and basing your chicken and breading it. So here we go, y'all. First, I'm going to take it. Y'all, I've already washed my hand before I started this. So right now, I'm going to take the chicken, dip it inside of the egg wash, and make sure the egg wash coats, coat it so you can get it evenly coated on the side of the chicken. And then I'm going to take it, and I'm going to put it inside, and I'm going to press it down, y'all, here. And I'm going to make sure both sides are going to be full of breadcrumbs here. So when I go ahead and do the second step, the second part, it'll have a good crust to it. So y'all see right here how I got this breadcrumbs on it and how, how it looks here? I'm sorry, y'all. That's my son back there talking. So, and we are going to repeat the same step with the rest of the chicken breast here. Usually I use a thicker chicken breast, y'all, but today I'm just gonna use a thin chicken breast. It's best for my family. They, they, they don't like it kind of thick. So again, by me repeating this here, putting the breadcrumbs on it and making sure it's coated. It. And if you find yourself running out of breadcrumbs, don't worry. Just pour some more and just mix it up with the seasoning. You already seasoned your breadcrumbs. And again, y'all. Y'all, I'm so excited. This is my, I just started this channel and I'm, I'm excited. So, you too, I just hope you like what I'm going to be bringing. And I hope you just, you know, if you like, comment and subscribe and Leave a um, comment below and and tell me what you want me to cook you. And I and I, I can do it. I'm I've, I've cooking this. I've been doing this for 20 years. So right here, y'all, I'm going to be adding some more breadcrumbs because you know, you see I'm running out of them. And I've already seasoned this. And again, I'm going to sit here and dip again, coat it. Make sure we good. Y'all, this meal is good. I've cooked this for my family so many times. And they have a they have enjoyed this. And I hope that if I hope that you will enjoy it as well. So again, I'm on my last chicken breast right here. I'm gonna dip it again and bread crumb it. And sometimes you have to shake off the egg wash because if you don't and you keep on dipping it inside the breadcrumbs, your breadcrumbs will start to get clunk up and it will not stick to the chicken. Okay, so right here, I'm finishing up with this. So what I'm going to do here, y'all, is now that I already got the last one breaded, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a cut, cut off from you so I can go over in the kitchen so we can go and fry these up and get this all together. All right. All right, y'all, I'm back. And right now, I already got my water boiling for my Alfredo noodles. I have my grease heating up for the chicken. And what I'm going to do is brown it on each side. And I'm going to put it on the pan. So right now, I'm going to put it, in, I'm going to brown it on each side right now. And make sure that it's hot, y'all. And once it gets brown on one side, then we're going to flip it over. 
and then we're gonna put it on this pan and then we're gonna finish it off in the oven. So you don't have to sit there and kind of well done it here on this pan because you're gonna put it in the oven to finish it up. So now that you see right here, y'all, we just want to make sure we got a crispy side on each side. So while this cooking in and browning. So I'm 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 so excited, man. This is gonna be a good meal tonight. So right now, we only need to do this for probably like four or five minutes on one side and flip it over. And look how beautiful that is, y'all. We want that crisp. And you don't have to finish it well if you got some thick chicken. You don't have to finish it all on, in one pan because you're going to put it in the oven and it's going to finish it all. But we just want that crispy side on each side. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all, so let me fry this up and get this together, and I'll be right back. Okay, YouTube, I'm back. And again, you can see right now my chicken is already fried. They are golden brown. They look nice. And like I said, you don't have to fully cook it inside of the, the grease when you're frying the breadcrumbs because you're going to put it into the oven. So right now, we have not did part one, and we are on part, we not did part two. So basically, we're starting to get part two and three all together and done so okay so all right now here we go i'm going to go ahead and start setting this up youtube right now this is the tomato sauce that i've already seasoning it got sugar in it you can put some a little bit of salt and you can put some garlic powder in it and whatever you want to put in it and stir it up so in my house we like things kind of sweet so right now this is this tomato sauce is sweet if you're not going to use all this, you know, you know, you can just use it for something else. Spaghetti, if you can cook spaghetti the next day, because a lot of people use this kind of sauce and they put sugar in it. So you're not going to go wrong with it. So here you go. I'm going to take this here and I'm going to spread it on here. And we're going to make sure it's even on here so that when you cut into this, you're going to taste the sauce. You're gonna put that on there, y'all. Oh, that's my sonny. That boy know he's a trip. Okay. So we're gonna do that to all of it. And you can see that I'm gonna have some sauce left over. We pretty much probably will get rid of this because. We're not going to use it. If we do, we're going to probably put it, cool it, and use it for something else. All right, so now that you see how that look with the tomato sauce on it, now the next step is here I've put Parmesan cheese and mozzarella cheese inside of here. So the next step, all you're going to do is take this, and I've washed my hand already, y'all. Take this, spread it on top of here. Wow. That look good. Look at us here. But we ain't playing in here. And y'all, I'm gonna tell y'all a little secret about me. I love parsley. So, parsley, I put parsley on everything, y'all. Everything. You can ask my wife, and later I'll be introducing her and my family later down the line. But after you do that, I want you to take a little bit of parsley if, if you want to, and sprinkle it on it to make it look like professional. I believe possibly make things look more 
Beautiful. As y'all can see right now, I've already got this together. I got my parsley on here. I got this looking good. So right now, y'all, we're going to do this. I got my oven already set to 375. And what we're going to do is put, I'm going to put my chicken inside the oven. And we're going to let this bake. Pretty much, we have already put, coat the chicken and we have already cooked it halfway. So we're going to let the oven cook it full way and melt the cheese. And afterward, this is going to be done. So once we're done with this, we're going to start on the next project, which is part three. y'all putting that in so right now y'all I'm gonna wash my hand okay and let's start this next this next project so right now y'all just one second Right now I'm going to do that right there. I'm going to put that so we can get this rolling. I got me some butter. I'm going to put a little bit of butter in this pan here. And I'm going to let that butter melt. But while we're doing all of this, I'm going to go ahead and do this a front. While we're doing that, get all our fritter noodles. Together here. And y'all, all you have to do is put it in, season your water with salt. Season the water with salt. And we're going to let this ball down. Again, season your water with salt. Let that ball down. And once that finished balling, that way we can go ahead and put everything together. Now we got all that together. We got the noodles working. And the noodles ain't going to take long to be done. And why I got this butter. And if you want to wonder what this butter for here, it's going to be for my shrimp. And I have my shrimp already over here that's going to be put inside of the noodle. Okay, y'all, when, when y'all do this, make sure the shrimp, make sure it's completely dry. So, okay, I got my shrimp here. I put my shrimp on. And again, put a little bit of seasoning on that. We're going to let this saute. We're going to let this saute up. We're going to let that saute. So right now, since I'm doing this right now, I got, got everything working. I'm going to go ahead and start putting everything together. And then we're going to come back. So thanks, YouTube. Okay, YouTube, I'm back. My noodles have finished boiling. I've drained them. And also my chicken here is done. So y'all can see right here, I have my noodles already draining. And y'all can see how wonderful this chicken has turned out, y'all. This is amazing. Y'all, I'm telling y'all. So right now, this is going to be part three. I'm going to be doing my Alfredo sauce for the um, pasta. Um, right here, I'm going to do a half stick of butter. Okay. And y'all, we want this to be melted. So let it melt down. In here first. All right. So, okay. And now I'm going to put here my garlic in here. So my garlic is going to sit here and melt together with my butter. All right there. 
and we want this butter, I want this butter sauce to be, have that garlic flavor in it. So as this sit there and saute down, we're gonna turn this up a little bit. Y'all can see right here how the butter and the garlic is combining together. Looking delicious. Okay, y'all. So let us the thing get heat up. All right, y'all. As we sitting here letting this get heat up, I have over here is whipping cream. My to make this sauce here, you need garlic, butter, and whipping cream. And you can take some Parmesan cheese and put in here as this become to heat up and come all together, so the flavors can come together. And what we're looking for in this, in this, in this Alfredo sauce is we want this thing to be thick enough so it can coat our noodles. All right, y'all. I like how this looks. So right now, I have this whooping cream. You don't need this much. What we're going to do now as it's sauteing, as the butter begin to all it together, we're going to take this and we're going to pour this in here. And you only need enough to coat your pasta. So we're going to use half of this right here. And the reason why I'm going to use half of this because I would love my pasta to be creamy. We don't want our pasta to look dry. We want it to be creamy. So we're going to let this heat up here and we're going to allow all this to combine together. Y'all, I promise y'all, y'all make this. Y'all love this. Y'all will love it. You're doing it restaurant style in here. And remember y'all, anytime you season anything, or uh, when you make anything, make sure you taste your food. Because you don't want to put nothing out that is not good. So... We're going to sit here and I'm going to start to season this. And what I'm going to season this with is some salt. And right now, y'all, I don't, I don't, I already know how much goes in here. But if you want to ask me if y'all do it, do like one or two teaspoons of salt inside of this heavy cream and butter because we want this to be flavored. So do like one or teaspoon of that. And garlic, you can't go wrong with garlic. But also let's do, probably let's do like a tablespoon of that. And then we got the Creole sauce. Creole is a very strong Italian seasoning, so we don't want to put a lot of that in here. So we're going to just put a little bit, we don't want this to over overpower our flavors. We want everything to come together and mix. And here I, I already have sauteed my shrimp. So right now all we're going to do is, Combine these things together here, y'all. Okay. So before I go away, y'all, I want to taste this to make sure this is good. And then I'm going to cut and we're going to start plating this up. And we're going to show you this presentation. People eat with their eyes, y'all. Anywhere I go, I eat with my eyes. Wow, this tastes wonderful. This is wonderful. I will recommend for my, me and my house, because I know what we love. A little bit more salt. Other than that, this is all awesome. We got every flavor. It got a balance to it. And I'm loving this. So right now, I'm going to add this shrimp in there. And then... I'm going to cut it. I'm going to come back and we're going to plate this up and we're going to be from here. All right. See you back on right, YouTube. You can see here, I'm full enough to finish the process up here. I've put my stuff together. You can see the shrimp in here. Um, you can see here the noodles, how creamy it is. Look at this, y'all. With my Alfredo sauce, it's going to be delicious. So what I'm going to do right now, y'all, 
Make sure this is mixed well, and I'm going to plate it. And again, you can see I got parsley in it because I told you I love parsley now. All right, y'all, I'm just one. <laughs> All right, y'all, I'm going to plate this up. Oh, excuse me, somebody ain't messy with it. All right, y'all. So I'm gonna go to the next plate. I do the same thing. Add it here. Make this look professional. All right, and I'm gonna top this off. Again, y'all, with some parsley. And here's some garlic bread I find. Usually we make our own garlic bread from scratch. Yeah, we do make it from scratch, y'all. But right now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm trying to rush in. And I'm sorry. And time got caught up. So that's why we got the our garlic bread from the store. But other than that, you see the presentation here? You see how this look? So... I want to tell y'all, this is how we do it in my house. So the thing is, if you like this, I want you to like, comment, and subscribe. Leave a comment below. Ring that notification bell. And anything you want me to cook, I'll cook it. So I want to say, I love y'all. Peace.